in their mail to find those ballot request forms with names that they did not recognize. Now, to a lot of people, it was alarming. We asked the Secretary of State what happened. I think that should bother us all, no matter our, our political persuasion. Billy Donnell said he went to his mailbox Wednesday to find this. These uh, requests for an absentee ballot were made to our address with our last name with obviously fictitious first names. The Grant County Clerk confirms 14,649 absentee ballot request forms went out with the wrong first names on them. The clerk blames it on an error with the vendor, American Election Services, who sent them out. This is uh, this was an unfortunate mistake, but it was a mistake. It was caught early and it doesn't have any bearing on the overall integrity of the election. A spokesman for the Secretary of State says no matter what, a person will only be able to vote once, that the vendor is mailing out new absentee ballot request forms and is not charging the county because it was their mistake. The county clerk will only process one of those applications and every registered voter will only get one ballot. Still many voters in Grant County are concerned. Jose Ray says six members of his family received the incorrect ballot request forms. Now he is not voting by mail. I would like for the people to vote in person. That way you know that you are voting. A spokesman for the Secretary of State says those new ballot request forms are going out Monday and he says even with the mistake there's no way people can vote more than once. Nancy Laughlin, KOT Action 7 News. If you received a ballot request from with the wrong name, you can either throw it out, fill it out with your registered voter information and send it in, or wait until a new request form arrives in the mail. You can also apply for that on the Secretary of State's website.